evening and welcome to a very exciting episode of Inside Eve. This is Inside Eve. It's a woman's world. My name is Adairi Sola. I've not changed my name. <laughs> and I'm here with two gorgeous ladies. If you're just joining us, I'm sure you'll be wondering who are they. But if you've been around with us on the show, you'd know Boo Boo and you'd know Fome. So ladies, what's up? How you all doing? Fine. Good. I am absolutely fine. Fome. I'm very well. Thank you. How are you yourself, Demi? I'm fine. It's <laughs> December. I'm always fine in December. <laughs> oh my God. It is actually, is it 17 days yeah, to Christmas? Yeah, a few days. And it's two days to my birthday for us. What? Uh, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I love December. Then Christmas, like you said, Christmas. Mm. All of that is really exciting. Yeah, Bubu has news for us. Something about some <laughs> African lady doing us proud. Okay, for the first time, a fantastic Jamaican black woman won herself a swimming title. Whoop, whoop, um, whoop, Alia whoop. Atkinson, well done, girl. You totally yeah. rock. Come on, man. Swimming, that's what they'll say. Nice. Blast. Yeah, that's what they'll say. Representing. <laughs> so, what are you going to win very soon, Bubu? Um, First black woman let's to. Let's see. Um, probably. That's taking too long. <laughs> Bubu, Bubu, Bubu will get back to you on that. So, just. Stay tuned. It's going to be a very, very exciting show. I tell you, we have a beautiful topic today. Something exciting. Promises to be grand. We'll tell you what's up when we come back from the break that we'll take very soon. <laughs> but then right after that, we also have ouch moments, right? Yes. We do have ouch, those times we did, the, well, embarrassing moments, ouch moments. Those moments you don't want people to know yeah. about, but... Just for us. us. Well, yeah. <laughs> and right after that, Diva. And, and right after that, we're going to have Fashionista, where we Yay. give you style secrets and tips. Wait for it. Free of charge. <laughs> Free of charge. Yeah. I think we have, like, um, people ask for to see, they ask to see. Um, oh, yes, just to popular demand. Yes. And show beauty. Yes, and show beauty. Yeah, she does, right? She, does. she knows how so to do that. We're going to do a repeat of that, actually. <laughs> yeah. All right, so guess what? You can join us on the show via social media www.facebook.com forward slash my r2 tv and on twitter at r2 underscore tv and you could also call in on the show that's the part i really love we like it real time yeah. live yeah <laughs> when you can give it to us what are you saying i like when people call in and challenge what we're saying share their own opinion and stuff like that yeah. so on the show you could call in on 08091222283 i'm getting tired <laughs> 08091222285 <laughs> and lastly, 08091222286. Grab your phones, go. get ready to call. Call, call everybody you know. This yeah. is the show you need to watch. Of course, this is the channel you need to watch Inside Eve on <laughs> R2TV. When Inside Eve is over, you don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we have exciting stuff for you on the show tonight. Talking about um, women. Yes. How do we work out our lives how do we balance our lives do we put everything in one basket in relationships finances businesses okay. i'm sure you're wondering yes what do they want to say this time about this you'd see us after the break hey what's going on ah so you haven't heard it's a seller that's giving amazing data value and smartphones at the lowest prices. With up to 1.5 gigabytes free data sign up bonus and 100% bonus on all data purchases from 200 MB and above for 12 months. Can I show you some phones? <laughs> Get the latest devices at amazing prices at any Etisalat Experience Center or authorized dealers and choose from the blazing fast data and amazing tariffs all on your smartphone network of choice. Etisalat, now you're talking. What's up, like Bubu said? <laughs> what's up? All right, so we told you what's up before we went on the break. We told you we'll be talking about something really exciting. Do you put all of your eggs in one basket? I'm sure mm. you're wondering, what's that? What do you mean by that? Mm. Like in a relationship, for instance, would you pack all of your trust and just put it in someone, invest all your time, your energy, your trust? Oh, like 
when you are praying, you go, Father Lord, I pray for, let's give Ndubisi. You are not married to him yet, and you go, oh Lord, Ndubisi, that I'm going to marry in the next two years. Bless him, bless him, bless him. <laughs> fortunately, unfortunately, Ndubisi leaves you in two weeks. And then all your investment, Ndubisi is being blessed somewhere. So seriously, would you trust, at what point do you trust a man? Would you put all of your eggs in one basket, ladies? Let's deal with this. I think, I think we should go FOMA. For Why it. me? Why it's me? It's like you're itching like, <laughs> me, me. So. You know, here's my own personal, my personal opinion, right? Okay. I will put my eggs in one basket. I already did. Okay, that aside. <laughs> That aside, if you don't put your eggs in one basket, guys, so you're going to spread all your eggs in different baskets uh, and then focus on all those separate baskets and then... Like it's too much work. And then, and then when you lose... I don't think... You lose, lose focus, of course, because you won't be able to concentrate on one person to know, you know, if, you re, if he really loves you. That's what mm. I think, though. And then, that being said, how would you know when to start trusting him or when to love completely, when to let go. Because you're focusing on so many different guys at the same time. How does that work, really? But then are we saying that we can't focus on different guys? Or wait, let me not say different guys. Sounds wrong. Yeah. Are we saying we can't focus on different things? People multitask. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> people multitask. Really, there are some people that know how to work these things. They know how to, like, um, I'm dating this guy. I won't necessarily say no, don't call me again to this other guy. Ah, there are some ladies that know how to collect this one on Val's Day. But then it gets clumsy as well because you could be with one guy and the other one calls and then you have to take Meaning you will not be call. committed to any one of it, them for think, those that do it. I don't think it's a honest, good idea. I, to be honest, I think what it is is a lot of people don't put their eggs in one basket. Mm. When it comes to relationship, a lot of women, a lot of guys, they don't put their eggs in one basket at all. And the truth is because they don't want to be weighed down by someone who at the end of the day would, Walk would disappoint, them. disappoint mm. them. I'm not I'm not saying it's right, but sometimes it is wise. I'm, now, why is it the sense where I'm, I'm not saying you should sleep with all of them? Mm -hmm. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if, if you're seeing someone or if you're dating, because the truth of the matter is when we say we're going on a date. It's actually just having dinner, having lunch. But if you're in a relationship, if it's come to a relationship, then I think give that a try. You know, don't go picking another guy's call or be being like five other guys or no. Just, just keep it straight for one person. But if you're not dating, if you're not in an affair, I all means have fun. So one you're saying once course. you're in an affair, yeah. whether you're married or not, you should... Oh, sorry, what... Because you're not married, yeah. when you are not married, sorry, yeah. pardon me, when you're not married to someone, it's okay once you're dating, it's okay to say, I'm committed to this person, mm -hmm. and then you shun every other person, yeah. and then those guys you've said no to, go ahead and marry other people, uh, and then he leaves you, and you're hanging. Now, it, it is pretty tricky, because the truth of the matter is, when it comes to trusting someone, it really isn't easy. But, you know, if, if it's done to, I mean, take for instance, I always like to look at it from the other perspective. Too, yeah. What if it's me, that the guy is having 10 other women? True exactly. that. True I that. like to look at it that way, so. I also yeah. thought about the same thing, you know. If I don't put, if, if I decide, okay, I don't want to put my eggs in one basket, can you imagine if your partner does the same thing to you? How would you feel yourself? Yeah. You know, I also agree with what you said. You sorry, know, if for my, sorry to cut you short, for sure. Please hold that thought. Sure. I'm so sorry. Phone lines are open. You all need to call in on the show and talk <laughs> about this. It's talk important. About this. Yeah. It's important, so important. really, because it's real. Something that affects all of us. True, you were true. saying. of course. I agree with what Bubu said. If you're not in a committed relationship, yeah, you could leave the lines open for so a bit. At what, point do you, at what point do you get to that level That's of commitment? I was coming How do you to that. Know? I was coming to that. Okay. I think you just know. <laughs> if a man loves you, you will know. If he puts you first in his life, right. you will know. If he doesn't take you that seriously, you will also you know. know. When, if that, as long as you don't deceive yourself, you're not in self-denial. Mm. Yes. You know, so when you get to that point where you're sure, 100% sure that, you know, I'm the number one woman in his life. He might have other women, but, you know, as long as he puts you first all the time, then yeah. you can, you know, trust completely I, I, and I totally, put all your eggs in I totally feel for yeah. me. I totally feel for me. If a man puts you first, 
then you Definitely. would know. Yeah, but a lot of times, like you said, we are in denial. We're like, I really like him. All you see is your own side of the story. I like him. Yeah. Does he like you? Um, you see, <laughs> it's like, anyway, we don't have all of the gists for you. Some women yeah. out there, men out there spoke to us about putting their eggs in one basket or not putting their eggs in one basket at all. So stay with us and listen to this. No, not at all. Ah. Ah, let me be the first to answer that. No way. <laughs> Ladies of today's, of today's, they are very desperate. And then they are very easy to convince. Very, very easy to convince. So, I barely trust women. I don't really keep all my eggs in one basket. Because of, um, there might be a series of complications. So it's not ideal. Yes. I put all my eggs in the relationship. Yeah. I I don't like playing around. I have one girlfriend. I'm okay with it. And if I if I if I study that about detail or I discover that something is going on that I'm not the only one she's she's dating again, then I have to cut it off. So that is you have to pick up. So during dating, you can't really totally trust a man because you're taking your time to study him. You have to study him to an extent before you could trust him. Yes, I can trust him very well. I do trust him like with everything. You're not married though. Yes, I can trust okay. him with everything. Wow. wow. <laughs> like, seriously. Amazing. <laughs> Did you hear the other lady? She was like, you're not married though. Yes, but of course you need to get to that point where even when you're not we, married, how will you get married eventually? Like, we have a call already. <laughs> hello, Judith from Delta. Good evening. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello, good evening. Okay, good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Judy. Hi. How are you doing tonight? Can you Yes, we can. How are you doing tonight? I'm Hello? I'm fine, ma'am. Okay. Are you we watching are the program? Yes, I'm watching the program right now. Yay. <laughs> so, you know the topic yes. of today, right? Hello? Okay. Hi. Okay, the so we'll of putting all your eggs in one basket. Yes. Hello, Judy. Could you move away from your TV set, please? Okay. Thank you. So, would you put all your eggs in one basket in a relationship? Um. Hello. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Hello. Yeah, because. Most of the men, the ones you put your heart in, really want to break your heart at the end. Mm. I, I totally understand what you're saying, <laughs> I what if What if you know, you know that this man cares for you? You know this is the one. Hello? Okay, that issue is a little bit different. Okay. All right. So you won't put your eggs in a basket in a relationship, right? No. All right. Thank you very much, Judith. Thank you, Judith. Thank you. Thank you. No. All right. Good night. Please keep watching. <laughs> Hello. We have another call huh, okay. already. Okay. Hello, Tyre from Ghana. How are you doing tonight? Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, I'm good. And you? We're very okay. well. <laughs> Hello. Are you there? Uh, you guys are so beautiful. I'm listening to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, I think you're very close to your television set. Could you move away? Um, ma, ma. Hello, Tyler, okay, there's some okay. noise around you. Yeah, is that okay? Okay, it's much better now. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. And my, my opinion is, uh, it's better for you to keep your eggs in one basket. Okay. Hello, please That's come again. That's my opinion. Hello, Tayo. Hello. I can still hear your television set, please. Can you just turn down the volume a bit? Okay, okay. Is that okay? Yeah, it's, it's better now, yeah. All right, so you were saying about putting your eggs in one basket. Yeah. Would you do that in a relationship? Oh, yeah, I would do that. Really? Yeah, I would do that. So at what point yeah, do you can... know I can put my eggs in one, all of my eggs in one basket? I can go all the way. 
Yeah, it come again. At what point do you know that this is the woman that should put all my eggs in her basket and I know she's not going to break my eggs? <laughs> oh, if you, if you put your eggs in one basket, it won't it break at all. It will be destroyed. It will be destroyed in several places, right? <laughs> Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. That was an interesting one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep watching the show and like our Facebook page. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Have a beautiful evening. What? There's a lesson to be learned from that. True. To keep your eggs safe, put them all in one basket. If you put them in separate baskets, they'll break. I think it's a chance you just have to take. Yes, of course. It's a risk. You know, like in businesses as well, it's mm. it's a risk you have to take. You have to get to that point where you yeah. say, you know what, I'm going to trust you completely. I'm going to let go. And just pack all your eggs, put them in there. Hey, and then I actually, I actually think I hear some women say, hmm, you think it's that easy? That's what I'm hearing yeah. a lot of women say because a lot of women have been really hurt by... True that. By... by putting all their eggs in one basket, putting all their hopes, their dreams, you know, into one particular man. A lot, a lot of women who have trusted yeah. completely. And just because of one mistake, one guy, one guy just turned, you know, broke their heart. They've decided to say, well, no, no True. way. Never True. again. No, love, hell no. But you know, I, I think love, love is a wonderful thing. The fact that you didn't have, find it the first time don't mean you can't find it the second time. If you can't find the second time, it's the third time. Well, we have a, we have a mm -hmm. caller from Edo State. Hello, Mohamed. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello good evening. How are you doing evening. tonight? I'm fine, thank you. All right. So, yeah. would you put all of your eggs in one basket in a relationship or in business? Yeah, I would. Huh? You would. He said he would. I would do that. You do that. That's that's interesting. So, at what point do you know that? Yes, I should do this. I will do it with any girl. What if she breaks your heart? She should love him like seriously. I love this guy already. Wow! Thank you so much. Thank you for being honest, man. Straight. Your heart is like made of stone or something. No, no, no. He said, "Look for another one." That, that's Another really cool. One. That's Straight fantastic. Up. Thank you, Mohammed. Please <laughs> keep you. watching the show. I love it. You know, I hope ladies are hearing that. You know, if you, All right. if you don't Hello, are you one, still there? One. I'm here. All right. Thank you very much for calling. And that's really, really... Please go back to share an embarrassing moment with us in a bit. Okay? Okay. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Have a Bye. good evening. You know what I also think? I also think that, you know, women who have been, who have been hurt before... They, they are conditioned to think that, you know, that's the way it's always going to be. Mm. But no, there are good guys out there. I True. do believe that there are lots of good guys. Some have called in. I hope they are, they are saying the truth at least, you know. <laughs> but stop conditioning your mind, you know, to think that you always get hurt. It's not always the case. There are happy relationships out there. There are people who are in happy relationships, rather. You know, mm. the fact you've been hurt once or twice or I don't know how many times Pretty doesn't hard. mean that, you know, there's no true love and all guys are the same. You know, no. people say that all the time. No, all, all guys are the same. They cheat and all that. But I, I think it's just a conditioning of the mind. And if you change the way you think about that, you probably land yourself a nice Hong Kong even, guy. Even, even guys, too, mm, because nice the Hong truth Kong is guy. we always feel that only women have been hurt. Guys, too, have yeah, been really true. hurt. A lot of guys will say, oh... And you know how guys can be. Guys, sorry, but I need to say this. You know how you guys can be sometimes when you go, I gave my heart, my soul, my spirit, my spinal cord, blah, 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 to a girl, and she dashed me on a... Calm down. Like what Mohammed said. Look for another, Look for another one. one. I think a lot of guys are usually like on a revenge mission. Everybody just goes, the average guy you meet that's like a player or doing something funny always has um like a story of when i was 16 there was this girl that i really liked anyway we have a call let me pick this call hello Ajiboy. good evening hello hello good evening yeah hello good evening how are you doing this evening Ajiboy? i'm good i'm good i'm good okay so would you put all your eggs in one basket in a relationship of course i can do that <laughs> yeah, you do. wow you sure? he said of course i can Will he? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Would you or will you put all of your eggs in one basket? Yes, of course I can do that. But before you do that, you have to know the type of egg you have. <laughs> the you kind have of what? Egg. egg you have? <laughs> the kind of egg you have? <laughs> yes, 
down, but if you take the best part, you need to go out to your shoe before you even put everything in one basket. Oh, Interesting. okay. I need him to define. Can you define the kind of eggs, of eggs. you're talking or, or, about? Or you list the different Please. types of eggs. <laughs> Eagle we need to know about it. Egg. Egg. <laughs> okay, so, so you know in relationship, when you are dating some girls, you know this girl is not serious with you. When you are dating another, you know this one is not serious with you. When the case that you have one that is very serious, you don't go out to even look around to you, you think yeah. that it's yeah. the basket. Of course, If you yeah. one trait, then you focus on the app. Yeah, focus. Not saying something. All right. That's cool. That's, That's cool. really cool. Focus, yeah. like um, like Fome was yeah. saying, yeah. focus is really That's important. Really cool, yeah. Thank you very much, Ajibori. Thank you. I'd yeah, like to have your list of eggs on our Facebook page. <laughs> 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 All right. Thanks for calling. All right. Good night. Bye. 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 Wow. That's All right, so <laughs> eggs and basket ladies. I don't know why ladies are calling on our show. We had show. a caller. We had yeah. a, our first caller was a girl. I know, but there's just one out of many. Every time we got the guy, you need to guys. air your views. This yeah, is inside him, views. women. Let's Not talk about Adam. it. Let's Fine talk about it. We'll be expecting your views yeah. on our Facebook mm -hmm. page because right now we have to talk about embarrassing moments when we come back. Stay with us, please. I switched to ATC Sarah because my old network wasn't working. I was there for about 10 minutes and when the text came in, I just switched my SIM card and was walking right away. No downtime, nothing. If I had known what I know now, I would have switched a long time ago. As a fashion designer, I get to travel the world a lot. In most of these places that I go to, I roam my line and being able to relate to client customers wherever I am and it's still the same quality. It, it's, it's amazing. My definition of quality is good telephone conversation experience, good data experience, dependability. You're using a network that you know you can trust. I trust the designs. Well, as a publishing house, it's important that we are able to download data fast. And if you have deadlines, you've got to be sure that you have something that works. Since I switched to Etisalat, it's the speed. I mean, it's a speed. Switching your number to the Etisalat network is easier than ever. Walk into any Etisalat experience center, show valid identification, get your new SIM, and in no time at all, you're on the Etisalat network. Switch to quality today. Etisalat, now you're talking. that you can never really understand an individual by looking at them from the outside. To really understand why people speak the way they do, why they talk the way they do and act the way they do, you really need an inside perspective. For my darling, can you tell us what's going on? Oh, everything relationship-wise, mm -hmm. we are going to be trashing it. <laughs> We're going to trash it, trash it, trash it. Sure, yeah, on the like show. Disney. Women are so busy, like from here to here. We actually call them the octopus mom. My name is Adere Sala. If it's a mouthful, you could call me Adere. We're talking to women. Woman to woman. Real women to real women. Hello. <laughs> yeah, Bubba's the crazy one. Don't be deceived. I'm She's not crazy. Mm. She's cool. Yes. Yes, I can assure you, you have not missed anything at all. Well, maybe you have, but Daryl will bring you back, trust <laughs> me. Um, we're going to be talking about our embarrassing moments, our ouch moment, our awkward, Ew. extremely awkward moment. You're going to be ouch. sharing it with us or with everyone else. Please do call in. Um, our lines are open, so you need to call in to 08091-2222-83-0891. 2222-84. Girls, help me out. 0091-2222-85. All right, guys, just before you call in or while you're calling in, we had um, a Facebook message regarding our topic for today. And Darren's going to read it out for us. So, Grace Ayabime Okpo, I'm sorry if I did not pronounce any of that <laughs> right, says or said... 
or typed, <laughs> it all boils down to your gut feeling. Your heart hardly ever tells, ever lies to you. Most people, especially women, get carried away by appearances. If only we will take time out to listen to the voice of the heart. So I think we're saying the same thing, like True what we've been that. saying. You know, like like you someone said, you know. know. That's you know when thing. a man would like put you first in his life. Yeah. So basically, don't deceive us. <laughs> Let's go to ouch <laughs> moments. <laughs> okay, so I have an ouch moment here. Um, this is from Shilandra um, from Ghana. Ooh. And it says, that moment when you see someone from your past, and you say hello, and they act like they don't know you. Ouch. Ouch. Right? I mean, Ouch. that's happened to me a couple it's of a lot times. Good. Well, the truth is, nowadays, I don't even do it. So if I know you, I'll be like, well, I'm sure he's going to, or she's going to say, I don't know you, or just, but people like be awkward. Yeah, or sometimes yeah. you wave at someone whom you and think, then, you know, is you a know. person that you know, and then you find out... Person it's, is not not, it's not the person. Oh, guys, I well, the person is not looking at you. But you know, I need you to tell you so something, awkward. guys. If you're listening, everyone listen. Try. Do you know what? Try this. I'm just deviating just a little bit. When you're in your car, and you're driving. I do that. Just <laughs> wave. I do that to random people. Just wave. Just go. And people just start waving at you. Trust me. The person just goes. I do that sometimes when I, I just, just I just, when I just want to I just, be silly. I absolutely love it. But guys, Ghana, wherever you are, just try it. Wave your hands. <laughs> All right. So this is another awkward moment. This is from Shire from Lagos. Okay. It says, it was an awkward moment when he was running late and he was in the shower and he had lather all over him Ooh. and the water stopped running. Oh, Ouch. No. But do you know oh. how that is? Ouch. Like seriously. Like terribly. Who do you call? You can't open your eyes. I don't know. Do you call the water board? Or... Let me teach you how to make it happen. <laughs> Preach. You have your <laughs> bathroom towel, your yeah, bath towel. Clean the body and go. You itch. <laughs> Use wipes, babe. Well, it's well, better baby than wipes. baby it's wipes. Better just than. clean up, man. <laughs> like I seriously. Think, I think that is, ugh, no, I can't even think about it. Before me, you're going to say something. Yeah, I can't I even think an about it. Mo an awkward moment, rather, that okay. I want to share with you guys. Oh, was it the one you shared that time? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. I was walking down the street. I was running an errand. And then I noticed some guys were looking at me on the side of the street. I was like, okay, fine girl uh -huh. and everything. I was feeling so cool with myself. Guys, on my way back, a lady just was like, his flies open. Oh, God. Oh, like, Ouch. crap. Like, oh, God. Did that happen? Oh, God. From, tell me you, tell me you wore, you wore undies? A, no, a long shirt. You didn't wear shirt. undies? Okay, couldn't have been long. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't even believe it. Okay. That was really awkward. Was it, it was around just your one of those, Yeah, it was just one of those so guys days that, that you want to... So guys that see you regularly you're like... No, but oh. nothing was showing. Come on. <laughs> Darren, but then the girl noticed... Okay, let's move nothing on. Nothing was showing, Darren, thankfully. You have constantly... <laughs> Avoided, avoided this topic. True that. I'm a pro. I, I agree with Can you. Can you tell us? <laughs> All right. Let, um, I just, um, okay. Why are you stuttering? That should uh, be always openness. stutters. Yeah. All right. You know. Anyway. Talk, man. <laughs> for us in a moment. Yes, there was this one time I was um, trying to dress up in my house and then my brother's friend came into the room. Was he good looking? Forget, <laughs> babe. He hasn't paid for no, nothing, man. No, good looking me. or not. The guy is good looking and he walks up he walks into you when you're you're naked. It doesn't change the yeah, value of the well. body, babes. <laughs> be good looking be all then so watch it in no way. Exactly. And then it was so awkward, like and then coming out to greet the person, like when you come out you're like uh, is it gonna feel bad? Am I supposed to feel bad? Are we supposed to smile at each other? Oh my god. As in, that's like the awkward <laughs> moment, man. So I, I shared have... something at last. We need like 10 more from you. No, I'm going to I'll Google get back those. To <laughs> I need to talk about this awkward moment. Oh my God. This is from AJ Share. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right. Mm -hmm. But you're calling from... Okay, before I go there, before I go there, I'm going to take this call. I'm going to take a call from a guy called Ibrahim from Sierra Leone. Hello. Hello. First call of Hi, Sierra Leone. I think Ibrahim. so, too. Yeah. Hello. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi, good evening. <laughs> How are you? We're fine. How are you? I think I love Bubu. You, you what? I think I love Bubu. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. We, we love you, too. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, what do I want to talk about? <laughs> How about my most embarrassing moment, right? Okay. Do you want to tell us? I think my most embarrassing moment um, is when we have this Ebola issue. Okay. A friend met me at my office. I wanted, I, he was trying to talk to me, actually, and I tried to shake his hand. Oh, 
Ah. 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 Oh, oh. Can imagine. Oh, but wow. do you know what? From inside, if we extend our hands, yeah. come on, guys, extend. We're gonna shake you. <laughs> Thank you so much. For just for Thank you so much for calling. Oh, yeah. Please, please keep calling and listening, and also leave comments nice. on our Facebook page. Thank you so much. Nice. Right. <laughs> oh my God! Remember when Ebola started? Yeah, even here. You, you, both of you had. Sanitizers. You didn't want to shake me. You didn't have sanitizers. No, 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 sanitizer. no, I can, I can <laughs> hug. No I, I can clean your sweat for you. <laughs> <laughs> then sweat was like no yeah, go yeah, no yeah. go air. Oh my god. Uh, okay. No, no, no. Just Handshakes. Before, just extreme. before that call came in, there's this awkward moment from Ejaisha from um Eloren. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right. Yeah, forgiving <laughs> on it. Just, just be off. <laughs> it says that that awkward moment, you finally summon the courage to tell your guy, to tell a guy you have a crush on for a very long time and you tell him he's gay. Wow. I'm, go I'm gonna say that again, but we have a call. Nicholas from Lagos. Yeah. Hello, Nicholas. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Hello, good evening. All right, quick one. I just wanted to ask today's topic, which says, um, would you put all your eggs in, in one, one basket? basket? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What exactly are we talking about? Are we talking about relationships? Or are we talking about uh, finance? Or are we talking about, you know... We're talking about relationships and finance. So you can always give us your, your, um, your opinion in regards to relationship and also in regards to business. What do you think, sir? Okay. Well, for business, I would say you don't put all your eggs in one basket. Okay. Oh, okay. But for relationships, I mean, it's a commitment thing. Mm. Uh, there's only one basket. <laughs> wow, I like that. that. Nice. Oh, I like nice. That. That's, that's new. That's that was really good. That was really good. That's new. You know, putting mm -hmm. there's just one basket. Yeah. That's absolutely nice well one. done. Nice one. Well nice done. One. That's thank really you. good. Oh my God. So, for me, you're way. going to tell. Oh, thank, thank you, you so thank much. For me, you're going to tell us something going. about an awkward moment. So, tell me. Yes, I have an awkward moment here. It's quite similar to Ibrahim's from Zero Loan. And it's, it's for, actually from Elo Mede. And she says that awkward moment when you try to high five someone and they leave you hanging. <laughs> like, seriously, man. <laughs> Who does that? I don't know why. I don't know why people do stuff like that. Oh, you try to shake someone. Even if you don't try to shake someone and then. We have another call. Oh, Dabo cool. from Lagos. Hello, Dabo. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> like birds on high. Yeah, no. Hi, back at you. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> you guys look you guys look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank Very you. And full man. Oh <laughs> This voice is intimidating like full oh, man. Oh you said it's yeah, like you sound like there's a baby behind you. Yes, my baby. I'm oh. home alone with my baby. Oh. Oh. Are you babysitting? Yes, I am. Oh, I mean, oh, your nice. wife must be really, really lovely. Yes, yes, yes. She has to. She has It's to. helping her balance it all. <laughs> I remember that. You're, you're, a tip, you're a typical Maggie. inside Eve man. Yeah, thumbs up to you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so tell us your contribution, sir. Yeah, so the topic today is keeping your eggs in one basket, yes. right? Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, for me, relationship wise, I think you get to time in your life when you have to get serious with one person. Mm -hmm. So early in your teens, early in your 20s, yes, most people decide to have one or two relationships. Yeah. Is it right? No. I don't totally support it, but I guess it's a phase most people go through. Mm -hmm. But yeah. towards the end, towards mid 20s, you know, you have to really get serious yeah. with one person in your life. And True. Yeah, Aww. that's that's that would be my own point of view on the topic. Aww. Well, thank you. thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you, thank you, thank you said, so is much. It, yeah. Is it right? Is it, no, yeah. but then sometimes yeah. some people just like to. find themselves yes. at that point at where that they're point, like, yeah. you know what? Yeah. So. Okay, guys, I, I have a call from Toy, Traffic in Lagos. I think she's, or he's Toy. That's a lovely name though, but I like to find out. <laughs> Hello, Toy. 
Hello. Oh, oh it's okay. She's in traffic. Oh, hello. She's in traffic. Hi, I can Paul. hear the voting. Hi, Toy. Hi, Pome. Hi, Derry. <laughs> okay, she can't see us. Hi. She... Are you watching online or something? <laughs> Hi, Toy. <laughs> I actually watched, I'm actually reading it on Facebook and get oh, that you call. Wow, thank you so thank much. You. <laughs> I actually, I want to talk about the topic. Okay. okay. Yes. I don't, uh, putting all your eggs in one basket, not for Why? Why? Why should I put all my eggs in one basket? Why not? Why not? <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> preach, 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 girl. girl. No one is coming in. Preach, girl. Uh huh. Tell us. Tell what what us. did you say about yes. coming in? No. <laughs> what? Because, because really, when you're heartbroken, somebody else that comes to you, 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 you be <laughs> Mm, true that. Toy, preach, girl. Preach it out. But then yes. a revenge mission. But somebody else has to heal the heart. <laughs> Someone so has to heal the heart. always the other person. Nearby already. To heal you, right? I've been looking to heal the heart for a long time. Mm. <laughs> That's fine, Tori. We, we appreciate it. Yeah. We appreciate where you're coming from. Um, please keep mm. watching the show um, and please keep um, leaving comments uh, on, on Facebook. Facebook. Thank, Thank you so much. I hope you get home safe as right. well, though. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you. Oh my God. I mean, we've got loads and loads of calls the regarding quality. topics. Yeah. Uh, we really, really appreciate your calls. want to encourage you to keep calling. Um, visit our Facebook page. Leave comments. Um, we're, going, we're going on a break now. Please do not leave your couch. If you do, leave for about 30 seconds. We'll see you in a bit. Don't go anywhere. Hey, what's going on? Ah, so you haven't heard? No. Etisala is giving amazing data value and smartphones at the lowest prices. With up to 1.5 gigabytes free data sign up bonus and 100% bonus on all data purchases from 200 MB and above for 12 months. Can I show you some phones? Get the latest devices at amazing prices at any Etisala experience center or authorized dealers and choose from the blazing fast data and amazing tariffs all on your smartphone network of choice. Etisalat, now you're talking. So what is love? Love is different to different people. But to me, love is everything. Love is kind, love is patient, love knows no wrong, love is beautiful. And yes, I, Bobo, I'm in love. I am a firm believer of love. With love comes trust. So if you want to be in love, better trust. Love is R. Love is real. Love is R to TV. Entertainment at its best. R to TV. Hi guys, it's still inside Eve. <laughs> if you're just joining us, guys, then we've been trashing, giving you trashing it. one basket. Trashing it. Trashing it. If you haven't called in. Let her go to Facebook right now and comment. <laughs> yes, because we need your comments. Especially oh, so women, bad. we need you to air your views, man. Yeah. For now, Osha, it's time for Passionista. Now, earlier on, we had Yemisi Dada from Ensure Beauty. She told us, you know, step by step, how to do a simple do-it-yourself makeup for daytime. Mm. Due to popular demand, yes, loads of people like, like that. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to replay that video so that, you know, more ladies can learn how to do a simple do-it-yourself daytime makeup. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Yemi Sis Dada Seriki. I run a short beauty studio with my partner, Folayemi Abutu. Um, she runs the Abuja branch. I've been doing makeup for a while now, um, over five years, and um, so far so good, I don't have any regrets. Why makeup? For me, makeup was an hobby initially that transformed into a full-time business, and um, I don't have any regrets. So far so good, I have been having a very good swell time doing this. Um, an average Nigerian lady really wants to look good. Makeup is a form of way they express themselves. Um, like everyday makeup can be very subtle, but you know, 
because you don't want to get it mixed up wearing a fashion kind of look for a daytime look like the one we did for Lagos Fashion Week you know on the runway we created a jewelry finish you know and then that photographed well and then it gave a very real feel but you can't try that with it everyday makeup because if you go under the sun you probably will melt and will sweat you know so for that would um, have to look at the kind of product you're using say for instance the foundation um, a matte foundation is nice because it gives a very good coverage and then it would not melt under the sun um, you can't do a, 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 a creamy foundation for instance because by the time you go under the sun it will melt um, so with that you, it helps your application and then it helps you to give a very good clean and good finish So for the different kind of everyday look we have, you can then let's analyze the kind of foundations we can wear. We can use a matte foundation, that's the Mary Kay kind of foundation you can find everywhere, which is um, very good for our weather. Then you can also get um, black up foundation. It has little or no oil, so it gives very good coverage and then it's also very long lasting. Then for the powder, for the foundation, you can work with MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. It has little or no oil and it gives very good coverage you can also work with um, cover girl or you can also work with Florey Robert powder these are powders that are oil blotting you know they take out oil from the face and then it doesn't make you look glowy or shiny you know so it, it has a mattifying mattifying tendency you know so it makes you look very nice and very matte um, and then you can set if you want with the makeup setting mist and then it helps you to have your makeup in place without it running all over your skin all over your face and giving you that very messy finish so that's will help you to have a very good application. I'm going to be trying a simple everyday do-it-yourself kind of makeup on my mother here, Precious. So I would show you how, using all the instruments I have here. Okay, so take a bit of the foundation, just like that. Use a stippling brush and apply. So I start with the forehead. Okay, I blend it to a neckline. We move on to the eye makeup now. I'm going to be using Maybelline Colossal Kajal Pencil. Look up a bit. So just go like this. Close your eyes. I'll also define the upper lid. Eyebrow, I use this Mabrook Pencil. So I use a groomer to groom the eyebrow. I comb upward and outward. First I use a primer on an eyelid. What that does is to make the eyeshadow stay on longer. So I take a neutral color that can be worn every day in gold. And I just dab in that motion on the lid. I move into the eyebrow. So I'm using a brown pencil because the black is a no-no. Black pencils are usually very ash, so it gives you a very unnatural finish. The same thing to this other one. Start from under. So I take the mascara and apply mascara on our lashes. For an everyday kind of lip, you can use a natural color, a nude, so that the makeup is not too much because we've used a bit of color on the eyelid, so just make it very natural on the lips. I'm using Covergirl because for an everyday kind of look, you need that sun-kissed, natural, not so heavy kind of makeup look. And we have used foundation already to cover our floor. So we're going to just use a little bit. Just dust it off to take out the shine. And then that's all. So this is what we have for my everyday kind of makeup done in less than 10 minutes without the blush, without the contouring, without all the heavy techniques. So, and then it looks very soft and beautiful.
it, guys. Your simple do-it-yourself makeup. Wow. <laughs> you know what? I personally don't like foundation because it's too hot. And before you finish slapping on the foundation, I break You're out in the sweat. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, there's this medium coverage foundation. It's not, it's quite light that you can use yeah. for. And I respect, I respect women who take out time every day to sit down and look so pretty. It's, it's a lot, lot of work. work. Yeah. But then she it's just a lot of work. Simple. Yeah, but that's quite simple. No Easy peasy. You can do it. You can do it in ten minutes or thereabouts. If you're a pro, that is. <laughs> but you get better <laughs> with, with time. With, yeah, with practice. Mm -hmm. With practice. Wow. Nice one. <laughs> So we've got some tweets, right, guys? Oh, my God. Just before we go to tweets, we have a call from Shaya from Lagos. Hello, Shaya. What's oh, up? Cool. I like phone calls. Hello. <laughs> Hello, honey. Oh. Yeah, you guys are doing a very good show. Oh, thank, thank you. you. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I like she's giggling. Giggling. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Talk to us, darling. Talk, talk, talk. Come on. Um, I saw a message on Twitter saying, um, do you need to put your eggs in one basket yeah, about okay. when to trust your spouse in a relationship? Yeah. Mm. Well, um, if you decide to get married to that person, I think the trust should start from the day you guys take your vow. Okay. Because you can't be getting married to someone you don't trust. Oh. That way, there is no peace in that marriage. Oh, okay. In a relationship, though, before you get married, mm -hmm. would you? At what point do you start to trust your man in a relationship before you get married? Yeah. Well, when you, <laughs> the truth is, um, everything is risk. It's a risk, <laughs> so you just have to try trust the person from the moment you go into that relationship. You need to trust him because if you don't trust him, why do you need to go in and yeah. suffer yourself? Yeah. True. That's true. True. Nice. true that. True that. That's fine. Thanks a lot. Like, Shaya, if for you want to do it, just go all out, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you so very <laughs> much. Thank you call. so much. I mean, wow. guys, the truth is, we've talked a lot about you know relationships and relationships. Mm. We also need to talk about business. You know, probably we'll talk about it in an, at an extended um, edition. Yeah. But you know, I think um, I think one of our callers also talked about business. Yeah. yeah. So. It's not advisable. I wouldn't advise anyone mm -hmm. to just chuck all your all your eggs in one basket in regards to business. business. I believe everyone is somehow a bit multi talented. True. I think one person could have two, three kind of kinds of talent. Yeah. So you know, we have we have, we have fabulous women mm -hmm. in the industry. I mean, you're talking Genevieve, about Genevieve, yeah. Genevieve, um yeah. Genevieve she sings too. Thank you. She sings she's an actor. <laughs> right, she's an actress. She can't sing. She she has a song. Yeah. Anyway, she's an actress. She's an ambassador of so many brands. Yeah. She's representing brands. And then she yeah. recently just launched, her clothing, relaunched her clothing line. Yeah. Also, like, Oprah. Seriously. Oprah's, yeah. Oprah's done so well for herself. Oprah. She has that's, her network. She's on the, she's on a, a different talk show host. She's a, she's a, she's a, she's a, she's, she's, a, she's, she's everything. everything. She's everything. everything. <laughs> okay. So, like I said, we're going to branch off in, an, in another edition. I'm going to quickly just take this tweet in regards to our topic okay. of the day. I'll take two of them. Um, one is from, oh, sorry, it's not a tweet, guys. Sorry, it's from uh, it's a Facebook. Okay. Oyechuku Wamaka Nadi. She says it depends job-wise. I wouldn't expect if I'm totally satisfied with my place of work, I will get other jobs. Relationship-wise, yes, I would. I'd rather create a relationship that is not profitable to me. With the hope, I like what she said, with the hope of having a better one in future oh. than have my eggs in mm. various baskets. Um, wow. And then she put laugh out loud, which, which is kudos <laughs> to you. I have another one from Tayo Adetola. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what a please. Um, and he says, um, well, I, I have just one basket and you were my basket. <laughs> I put all my eggs in uh, your basket. Uh, 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 Don't Oh my god. Boo boy, never knew you were a basket. That's fine. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a gorgeous plus size basket. That's a Ooh. nice one. That's so sweet, Boo Boo. Boo Boo is such, such a basket. <laughs> all right, calm down, Darren. Tell us what you have. All right. Well, 
it's been interesting, a very, very interesting show. So many people have sent in messages on Facebook. Okay, I have one here. Ake Smith, at all points, trust them until she gives you a reason not, not to. to. Yeah. Good one. Good one. Good one. I was yes. just going to go back to my snoop around story, but let me you. not say anything. <laughs> I won't say anything about Stop snooping it. around. No, but seriously, Don't go there. seriously, until someone gives you a reason yeah, not, not to. to. Like, I, sometimes when I, um, okay, when I used to work in a like, really corporate suit and tie environment, some people say, oh, you're smiling with the gay men too much. You're playing with the no. um, staff around here that, like, maybe contract staff, cleaners and all that. And I'm like, uh, they'll disrespect you. I'm like, let them disrespect you, then you pull back and you know that, okay, this person has issues with maybe this or that. Give someone, like, 10 yards, allow them, mm. give you a reason not to yeah. trust them. Then you can say, okay, fine, this person has done this or that. Yeah. You can't say, they broke my heart two years mm. ago. This one will probably break my heart, so let me arrange nine after him, and there will be ten of them on the queue. If this one breaks my heart, I move on to... Move it's on a lot of stress. Like Fama said, you need to Stressful. focus. You can't put all of your... You can't put all of your energy... Um, you can't spread your energy unnecessarily. You would burn out. Yeah. Eventually. True. You would burn out. E like, eventually, seriously. Eventually. One person self is work. <laughs> Except if you're a jobless person, you're know, like in nine relationships, no work, yeah. no, as you wake up in the morning. Yeah. Let me call I, boo one. I think it's trust... Enough. I think trust is, is a, it's key. You know, it's a five letter word, right? Yeah. yeah. It's, but it's, it is pretty right. tedious. <laughs> it is very tedious. It's very exhausting. Exhausting. Um, but it is worth it in the, in the long run. The thing about Akin's comments is the fact that, you know, when that person gives you that reason, you know, not to trust them anymore, know when to draw the line. Yeah. The telltale signs are always there. If someone is going to, you know, if, so, if someone is going to maybe cheat on you or anything like that, the signs are, I, th I think the signs are always They're there. They're always anyway. there. <laughs> What's the funniest thing? Well, you know, you just talked about, you know, the signs, the telltale signs are there if someone's going to cheat on you. But you know that, For instance, the, but you know that some women that I even know, who know, who, who knew their husbands cheat? I still got married. That's the thing. That's what I was coming to. Know when to draw the line. Don't yeah. deceive yourself that he will change or she will change. Mm. She ain't people gonna change. change. People do change, but it takes a while. But don't hope that they will change don't and then hope, still yeah. go into the relationship. If you know you can manage it. If if they change while you're still dating, fine. Yeah. But not, not yeah. after I get married, it will change. Especially domestic it's violence. Case, we we'll get to yeah. that some days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They hit you once, you run. Topic for another no, day. If they don't hit, if they're about to hit. You guys. Girlfriend, <laughs> take a judge. Topic for another day. Are you hit back? Just All right. Move. <laughs> okay, so our topic for today putting all of your eggs in one basket, should you do it? At what point do you trust your partner, yeah. especially in a relationship? You should trust your spouse if you're married. Trust all the way. Definitely. Even if they give you a reason not to pray them into... <laughs> into trust. Yeah. Into, so, pray them into, into li back into line. God, this one must come back. <laughs> anyway, in a relationship, at what point do you trust? In business, should you put all of your eggs in one basket? Should you go into clothing business only and close your eyes if your container falls into the, <laughs> into the water? I see. You stay there and say, I must sell this clothes. Importing and export is my calling. This is where I'm going to be. <laughs> so seriously, would you put all of your eggs in one basket in business or would you diversify? Would you go from here to there? Let me try my hands on this. Let me cook a bit. Let me do this. Entertainment. Let me present like this lady's on Inside Eve. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So all of this, you can still talk about it on our Facebook page. Yeah. Facebook.com forward slash my RTV on Twitter at R2 underscore if, at R2 underscore TV if you are not following us already. If you are missing. You're on a long Because there's a lot that happens on <laughs> R2 TV. You really need to be yeah. in on all of it. And when the show is live, you could definitely call in on the show. All right. For me. What do you have to tell our beautiful viewers? Here's what I have to tell you, beautiful viewers. <laughs> Trusting someone isn't easy, but if you decide to go into a serious relationship, then you have to let go of every inhibition. Yeah, like one of our callers said, it comes to a point where you have to trust and just let go and just let go and just fall in love. You know that thing? You actually yes, do fall, fall in you love. Don't, you don't plan to fall. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fall. Like you're walking. And you're just, falling, you're just falling in love. Falling, falling, yeah, it does get to that point. likes love and all those love. I know those Can you see love oozes around me? <laughs> Baskets, can you give us your final <laughs> words, please? 
She just pour me a basket. A basket full of eggs. Duh. Somebody put all of them. Oh. Yeah, home for always extra. It's all over you, baby. Just your final thoughts. My final thought, guys and girls, is the only things in life you regret are the risks you didn't take. So guys, just do it. Take that risk. Just just go ahead, plunging like whoo, yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> go. Plunging, like. It, it's either it's going to succeed or it will fail. But if you, if it fails, what did Aliyah say? Try. Did you try, try again. Okay, I feel like rapping. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Mikey said, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, yeah. all jokes aside. All right, my, my own final words to you. You have to meet a few wrong ones before you can appreciate the right one. Sometimes you really need to learn yes. that um, this is not how to do it or this is not how I should be treated. Mm -hmm. By the time you meet the right one, you know that, ah, this is a yes. correct it was system. Worth, it was worth, I agree it was worth with it. you. <laughs> this is, this is, I agree with you. Thank you, you. baby. Because <laughs> I have a friend who had an experience like okay, that. So sure. I, I agree with you. Okay, so she was dating this guy who didn't treat her so well. And then she broke up and she was almost dying. I told her, you know what, girl, keep your head up. You get another man. She got another man in a few weeks. The guy treats her like a princess. Oh. And I'm like, you see, if you didn't lose that guy, you wouldn't know what true love is. So exactly, guys, yeah. All right. So really, like Fomer was yeah. saying, if you do not know how not to be treated, you may not mm -hmm. understand how you should be treated. When the guy is taking you, out, why is he calling me all the time? Why is it? But when you have someone that you be like, baby, call mm. now, <laughs> then you would know that there are some guys that when they yeah. call you, you should appreciate. So really, you should pray to meet the right one. Just keep going, keep going. Someone mm -hmm. says plunging, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. good. Just, just die. <laughs> Once you've made that decision that this is the person I want to be with, just, well, with your heart, trust. Mm -hmm. trust. Sometimes it may not really go so well. Yeah. People are people, they are human. So, air is human to forgive. And, guys, I mean, ladies, guys <laughs> out there, from inside Eve to you, we wish you well in your relationships, yeah, in your marriages, in the ones that you are putting the egg in the basket. Don't worry, we wish you well. We trust that this Be Christmas. Happy. And for those of you who are looking for guys and girls, it will happen Santa will come in quickly for you. Santa is getting you Christmas love. Yeah, right. Inside Thank you for your love. Uh, see you Bye. next time. Bye. Keep watching.